Hey guys, welcome back to photography. This is class number three. So get your USB cables out. Today we're going to be learning how to get the images from your camera to the computer. So I'm going to give you a brief demonstration right now and then talk about two other functions that your camera is capable of doing right after that. So see you soon. Bye. Okay, here we are at my laptop. I've got my USB cable and I'm going to show you where my um, USB cable attaches to my camera. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that there. Um, set my camera to the side and then plug it into my computer. Then I'm going to turn my camera on and set it down. Then a screen will pop up on my computer. There it is. And it's an autoplay window. So and I'm going to select the option import pictures and videos. Down here you'll see the import settings. That'll pull up here in just a second. Okay, so we're going to go to import images two and then we'll go to the browse option. The browse option pulls up. We'll look at our libraries. Pictures and then we'll make a new folder to download the pictures into. So for this um, particular series of pictures I'm going to put the title as class one. Click OK. And click OK again. And your pictures are going to start downloading to your computer. And that's it. Pretty simple. Wait for those to download into your folder. And you're good to go. This is done on a computer with Windows, but if you have an Apple computer, it'll be slightly different, but it's the same idea. Okay. Now that you have all of your pictures downloaded to your computer into the correct folders, I'm going to now teach you about a couple of settings that you have on your camera. Um, the first one I'm going to talk to you about is white balance. What is white balance? Well, depending on where you are, whites are going to be different colors. So if you're inside, it's going to be um, one color. If you're outside and it's cloudy, it's going to be another color. Um, here's a list of the temperatures that white can be. Now I'm going to show you where this is on your camera. Well first of all, I'm going to grab my book. Look in your manual to find out what page your white balance instructions are. In the back you'll find um, your index. In your index you'll look up white balance. My white balance is on page 71. So here we go. So unless you have the same camera as me, you will not have the same page numbers and manual as me. Yours is specific to your camera and um, Lesson one, I had you print out your manual, um, and if you haven't done that, you need to do that now, because like I said, we're going to be doing this quite often. Okay, so here is your white balance setting. Now the white um, temperatures are in degrees of Kelvin. So we've got um, auto white balance, that's the one at the very top, clear down to um, manually, you can put in the the Kelvin temperature that you want. And before I show you where this is on your camera, I'm going to actually flip out my battery because it died. I'm just going to show you how to do that real quick. So you've got a little notch on your camera. You flip that up, and you'll see there's a white button inside over here. You flip that out, and out comes your battery. 
Now this is if you have two batteries. If not, you're going to have to go and charge this all the way again. Um, now I know this is a full battery and charge because I put, there's a little window right there and a color strip. So when I put it on the cover and the color is showing, I know this is charged. So I'm going to put the charged one into my camera. Oopsie. Okay. We'll just slip that in there. Make sure it clicks so it doesn't fall out like it did the first day. And then here's the color strip. I will face that away from my window. Then I know that needs to be charged. Once it's charged, I'll flip the cap over. It's going to be blue in the window and I know it's ready to go. So for now, no color. Okay. Go ahead and turn on your cameras. And um, in your manual, go to the instructions on where to find your white balance button on how to control that. Mine is up here at the top. There's a button there and it says WB. So I push my WB button and the way I control um, what white balance setting I'm in is by this dial here. And when I turn this dial, you'll see on your um, screen at the top here that you're gonna, I'm gonna turn the light on, I've got a light. The screen at the top, I'm gonna come in a little bit closer the dial will change over here. Sorry, yeah, I had to push it again. Okay, the dial will change my setting. So if I'm in open shade, cloudy weather, and so on. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so your assignment is to go to your program mode that you've been working on. You're going to be able to change your white balance, so push on your white balance button. And wherever um, the pictures you'll be taking today, you will be taking in every single white balance mode in a certain location. So for instance, um, we don't need to do auto, okay? So you're gonna start with um, daylight. So go out when it's daylight and you need to take a picture of an object in daylight, the same object with the shade mode. Um, you're still in, day, in the daylight setting, but take it in daylight, shade, cloudy, tungsten, um, your fluorescent light, and flash use if you have that. So you can be in one location and see how the other degrees of the temperature, um, the Kelvin temperature, change the, the whiteness of the picture, okay? So next you're going to go to um, take a picture of an item in a shade location. So you could put a toy under a tree, for example. Okay, so you're gonna take the picture of the toy under the tree. That's just an example, you can put any, object in any type of shade and, and you are going to take that picture in daylight mode, shade mode, which will be the correct mode for that one, um, cloudy sunset mode, tungsten mode, fl white fluorescent light mode, and um, flash mode if you have that as one of your options. Next, you're going to um, go to a cloudy or a sunset location for your next mode. Again, you're going to take the same series of picture, pictures in those different modes. So take the sunset picture in daylight mode, shade mode, cloudy slash sunset mode, tungsten mode, and so on and so forth. And you're gonna go do that clear down to the white fluorescent light mode. That is it for white balance, and we're going to move on to um, focusing options. Okay, so you're still in your 
program mode, okay, on your dial. On your camera, you're going to see, you're going to have some dots that you can see, red dots that you can see in your viewfinder, okay? So, um, look up focusing options in your manual and find out where your focusing options are on your camera. Mine is right here. You can see it's a square with all the focusing options as dots in that square. So if I press that button and move my dial, the square up here is going to show you where my focusing options are. All those focus points, can you see that? It's moving around every time I do the dial. So what I'm going to have you do is set up a table, like I'll show you an example in just a second, with items across the table, further back, closer, um, and with your, you can use your tripod if you want or not. If you can hold your camera pretty steady, that's a good idea too. I used a tripod and it came out very well. So I want you to go to your program mode and play around with your focusing, um, your focus points. Um, move your focus points around because it will leave um, the item you want in focus and every other item you have on the table will be blurred and so on and so forth. And you can also have an option where everything is in focus. Um, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's where all of the dots are on. There we go. Okay. So your assignment for today is to practice with your focusing options. So you need to look it up in your manual, find out where your focusing options are on your camera, grab some toys, stick it on a table, and um, focus on each individual toy or objects on that table. I'll show you an example. As you can see here, there's a scene set up to take pictures of these objects on the table. This is when we're um, focusing on our focus points or focus options. So set up your tripod or your bar stool with the bean bag. Put your camera on top and um, get it in the viewfinder. And this is what it looks like on my LCD screen. As you can see, there is a red dot right on that orange. That's the single dot that I want to focus on. And this is the picture that came out after I downloaded it to my computer. So you can see the difference there. Okay, as you can see here, the red dot is closest to the yo-yo. Now look at the result. The yo-yo is as sharp as can be, but up close you can see that the cherry cup is blurry, the baseball is blurry, the orange is kind of in focus just because it was close, but that's just how it is. Okay. Here is, the red dot is on the cherry cup. It's kind of hard to see because it's by the cherries, but that's where it's focusing. And here's the result after putting it through my computer and downloading it. The cherry cup is in full focus. The orange is in medium focus. The yo-yo and the ball are completely out of focus. So go ahead and do your white balance exercises for your homework, as well as... Um, focusing option exercise and downloading all of your pictures to your computer. Be sure to put those pictures when they're downloaded into three separate folders according to the three different classes that we've already taken. Um, that's all for today and we'll see you next time. Bye!